Cyber Ninja Online guys, welcome back to Two Worlds. This is chapter 7, I actually remember what chapter this is. It's been a while since I recorded this too, and I've really been itching to play this. However, um, unfortunate news. So if you guys remember when we last left off, I had ended up pulling some dwarves out this way. I'd set a trap, my holding trap, somewhere around here. Yeah, I never got that back. I could literally not find it. I spent maybe 20 minutes searching this small area right here. Nothing. So uh, what ended up happening was when I left and came back, the ground ate it. Now, I know that sounds like weird or really funny, but I don't know if you guys noticed, but the ground literally does eat things. Like slowly you'll watch like bodies like kind of move into the, like they'll clip into the ground and it's really weird to see and all that. That's really the only explanation I have for what happened to the holding trap because it was here, right here. I didn't pick it up. I didn't sell it. So you guys can see it's not in my inventory. I didn't sell it. And I didn't put it any further than this because I never came out this far. So unfortunately it's gone. Um, I can't remember if I picked up anything new. I'm going to show you guys everything that I have right now. For some strange re reason, I think I have new gloves now. Or at least upgraded gloves, but I'm not entirely sure. So like I said, I'm just going to quickly show you guys everything here. So that's everything. Um, so the sword is a tad bit better, which is nice to know. What button am I hitting for that? So, nope. I'm hitting T to get my sword, okay. I remember us holding on to these pants. Level 12, so that's our next level. They're definitely way better. The shield. Need to be level 13. To use that shield so a couple levels for that that's fine um so yeah basically after i stopped recording all i did was run up here loot everything sell it and now we're back here so didn't really need to show you guys that at all so we're still going through this uh mine our initial quest was to come in here right about here find the commander kill him and then that was that however there's more to the mine and we actually found the lost squadron there so there was a little bit more however there's still more to this mine so we're going to explore all of it and then we're gonna go from there now we had cleared out these areas earlier because when I uh, pulled that dwarf well when I shot that one dwarf I ended up pulling a whole bunch and uh, it's not any good to me taken anyways and um, when I end up pulling everything that was like from these two rooms so it was a fair bit of dwarves but we still managed to hold our own and defeat them some reason I don't have sight it's that way. did I just see something no it was me seeing the doors pass by we're gonna give it a second to see if one of these doors pop out again so what might they I thought I missed in all honesty ooh one shot of that guy this guy's playing really scared. There we go. So if you guys remember, we have a pretty powerful bow for where we're at right now. Because combined with the quiver, the uh, skills I have into it, and like I said, the bow itself, our archery is pretty on point. Pretty on point. It's pretty good, to say the least. I forgot these guys are the kings of... Uh, knocking us down but that's fine I'm not even gonna really try to backstep here unless I can so they just attack so fast that it's let's have a look hard to even get really I really can't talk right now it's hard to even uh, really get the back uh, backstep that's what I wanted to say yes I like that shield, but it's not as good as ours. Main reason I'm taking everything is just to sell it, of course. And then from there, uh, obviously I sell it to get gold, and then I have a whole bunch of gold on me. And then I can use that to buy potions and whatnot. gonna drop that uh, teleport stone oops the wrong key 
I'm gonna drop the teleport stone and then we're gonna go from there. It's not that place, this place. Like I said to you guys before, um, I'm gonna power loot in this series, I think. And I think I'm gonna leave it in too, just because of how fast I can do it. Like, as you see, I'm already basically right here at the merchant. This is like under a minute. And then by the time I sell it all, if I was actually not like, you know, yapping away and actually selling it, I'd already be back there pretty much. So, I can't remember if it was shift or control. It was definitely uh, control. What's that? Quartz crystal. Magnesite is right here. So I have two of them. Don't know where I picked up that second one. I think I need two. So I think I can turn around and actually uh, do another part of that quest here in a second. Yeah, there's nothing else I want. Let's get out of that. What the hell? Let's see. Did I drop all this shit? What the fuck? What's my quick sell? Clearly I'm forgetting something here. I see quick save, but I don't see quick sell. Interesting. My other game, it's right click, but apparently that's dropping it. Hold shift. No, control. I swear to God, there was a button for it. Jesus Christ, I'm having like the worst. Okay, so it's not control or it's not shift. It's not control, well, it's not alt. Why isn't this working? That worked. Right? Yeah. Was it double click? That's what it was. It was double click. I'm an idiot. Okay. So maybe it's not quicker. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm gonna leave that in. Don't need those. I went through, I went through everything. So I'm not even gonna bother to double check. Magnesite, that's what I was going to do. So let me bring up that. Uh, yeah, Cormor Village. So I should have enough to turn around and get that next teleport stone. Not that I really need it, but I can get it out of the way for now. It's going to give us extra XP. Greetings. Do you have another Magnesite? See, the problem is I'm playing another game right now called Titan Quest, and to quick sell, it's right click. So that's what I was thinking, but I knew it wasn't the same. But I forgot, I completely forgot it was double clicking on the item to quick sell it, so. Yes, I have it here. Well done, but I don't know how long I can remain here. What happened? The society is rather upset about my research, and especially about the fact that I gave you a stone. They don't like strangers in their teleport network. So I have caused you problems? Problems? No, not problems. But they have forbidden me to do any more research on this subject. I may not create any new teleport stones. I understand. However, we have an agreement which was made before the society made its ruling on me. So I will create one, uh, no, two last stones for you. I thank thee indeed, but you will surely be reprimanded because of this. Keeping my word of honor is more important to me than any rulings from the old mages. I also sense that much lies before you. Yes, I must find my sister. Yes, I understand your sister is important to you. But your future actions could be vital for our world. 
I cannot tell you more this time. You should leave. Hmm. Farewell. Farewell. So, that's the end of that quest. He actually gives us, like he said, two more teleport stones because he was going to make another one for himself and then one for us. But he's not allowed to make any more. But he did say that he made that agreement with us before they said that. So he gave us the two. Basically, that quest is done now. Uh, any more Magnus that I come across, I can keep for myself for when I make potions of it. Because you can use all this, put it in a permanent effect potion, which will uh, obviously just increase st uh, certain stats. By the way, never ever mix permanent effect with uh, temporary effect like these ones. Because it will completely disregard the permanent effect and completely waste it. So don't ever do that. If you're ever going to make potions, make it like completely, you know, ones that are like completely uh, temporary only or completely permanent only. Never mix the two. However, now that that whole um, sequence of events is over and I remember how to sell items, we shall continue on. Friendly. What do you reckon? To the left or forward? Let's go forward. We down a dwarf over here. I'm pretty sure it loops around anyways. Could be wrong. I think I am wrong. That's fine. Take that. Did notice the chest Let's here, so see. nothing I really need to look at in that. But I'll still take it nonetheless. Now that I remember how to actually sell items, this should go right on by when I do decide to uh, find more loot. I gotta be careful what I wish for though, because I know what lies around this corner here and it's not nice. And that's why I'm kind of really upset that I lost my holding trap. But at the same time, I can't be terribly mad, so... So that's why I was holding on to these bombs, because I knew this Cyclops lied up ahead. Now, if you notice, it's red, which means that it does a shit ton of damage. Well, it means it's way out of my league, pretty much. It means it's going to be a hard enemy to fight. So I got to be careful about that. My hope is that he'll actually walk into that bomb, the little damage it did, so never mind that. This one's going to be harder for him to walk into. Yeah, fuck. That's interesting. Put it down. Now, I can't remember if blunt or uh, slashing damage does more to him. I think I'm fine with what I'm doing. I just got to be really careful and watch his attack patterns. Let's see. Yeah, I think either way would be good. Because my sword's a little bit stronger than my uh, club, I'm going to be using my sword. Like I said, you just got to be extremely careful and watch the attack patterns. If I screw up, he could one-hit me. Like, I honestly don't know how much damage I can take from this guy. And I'm really not about to find out, so... I kind of honestly want to just archer him to death. Use my bow and arrow. But that's going to take twice as long as it is going to kill him this way. And this is why... Uh, that holding trap would come in come in real handy here because I could set it down hold him for 10 seconds and although 10 seconds doesn't seem like a lot 10 seconds is 10 seconds of damage I get to deal to him which could potentially be like a ton of damage say I get criticals in there or whatever happens so but I mean this isn't going too bad um, if I had nothing to really say or if it was a long fight I would definitely cut it out but I'm going to leave it in here for now. If we do come across this same scenario again in the future, I will cut it out. And then we'll go from there unless, like, I don't know, unless he kills me or something like that. But as long as I pay attention, I should be fine. You notice I did get a critical in there, like, a couple hits ago. Well, more than that now, but... But yeah, this is what 2 worlds Combat basically is. 
But I mean, realistically, it's just like any other combat. You just gotta learn attack patterns and uh, be smart, manage, don't get too greedy. It's all that same crap that they always tell you. It's pretty close to being dead. And he's gonna give me a crap ton of XP for this too. Ooh. Nice little critical in there. I honestly don't think he would one hit me. Just because the amount of damage I am actually doing to him means I'm pretty at par with him. Well, I mean, not at par, but you know what I'm saying. I'm pretty close for... Probably pretty close for him to be around the same level as me. But in any case, like I said... Just gotta be careful. I looked away for a second there. I almost took that backhand. It's pretty bad at me. There's another critical. Another one. Feeling like DJ Khaled out here. Another one. No, I'm kidding. But that's what happens. When you level up that skill and you get pretty good luck, you can just start dropping criticals. And I mean, it definitely it shows off. Like, it really helps in fights. Especially if you're a melee builder, you just do melee damage. I was gonna go for it too, and then I thought, no. That's for you. Right on. Let's see what he had. Let's see. Nothing good. Go figure. But he did have some chests over here, so, or chest, I guess I should say. It's closed. That's why I'm trying to lock pick it open, and I got skill point. It's a shitty armor. So nothing good. Ooh, never mind. Holy shit. Wow. 264 to 326 damage. Wow. Like, my best melee dam weapon does 65 to 106 damage. That's perspective for you. That was an extremely good pull. Oh, it's two-handed, that's why. Knew something was up by that. I'll keep it in my inventory for now. And you know what? I'll let you guys decide. Do you think I should be using this? If so, then we can keep the shield on me. And then I'll just be using that as my melee weapon. So like I said, if you guys think I should be using that, just let me know in the comments below. I'll keep it in my inventory for a couple uh, chapters and then we'll see what happens. We'll see what you guys decide upon, I guess. Sorry. Because I was kind of leaning towards using a sword and shield with this guy. Just because I'm not really focusing on a melee build. Melee, melee build, whatever. But, um... Did I ever notice this chest? I must have, yeah. Interesting. But, um... That's a high damage. Especially this early on to pass up. Damn. So, I'll let you guys decide. I mean, it really makes no difference to me. I can play the game through the game just simply by selling this and not even thinking twice, but who knows. I did get a skill point, though, so let me hold up. Apply that somewhere. Go ahead and put it on overdrawing, I guess. Was it just the one? Yeah, it was just the one. Well, we're basically done in this wall. Not basically, we are done in this cave. So we can actually leave it now and we'll return back to that little encampment to turn in this quest. I think I have two people to talk to. Thunder. The one guy being uh, the one that asked me to assassinate the dwarf commander and then the other guy asking me to locate the, uh, the lost patrol. Of course I took damage for that. Okay, I did pick up. I wasn't sure if I picked up that other teleport stone. I was almost certain I did, but I wanted to double check and just make sure. Once we turn these in, we're going to start heading uh, east again and see what we stumble across. Eventually, I want to head up to... Uh, well, eventually, I'm going to end up here at Broomhill. But first, we're going to stop off here and check out these places too.
That's all in good time, though. Been getting pretty good luck with this so far, so... Can't complain about anything, and I'm really enjoying doing this. I actually look forward to when I sit down and record these episodes, so... I think this was one of the guys. I found your brother in his patrol. Where are they? What of their plight? I regret to tell you they're dead. But they fought well. Their souls are with their gods. Nay! Not my brother. Ah! This is all the fault of Alfron. I shall kill him for this. Do as you wish, but I wish to have my reward before you do. I do not wish to take this gold. I will also tell my friends of your courage. A good reputation is worth more than gold. Aye, I hear the merchants give you their wares for nothing. If you pay with a reputation, ha! Ah. Nay, it is not so. But the Brotherhood will give you better prices, if they know you. Aye, that's as may be. Just give me the money, and tell your friends a nice fable about me. I deserve it, methinks. Then I bid you farewell. Farewell. Done. This lightning or the thunder, sorry, is loud as hell. Plus, these guys like the quiet as hell too. So I think. Turn that down just a bit more, maybe halfway. The commander is dead. I killed him myself. That is sweet music to my ears. It was easy to kill him. But why did you want him dead, pray? He was a true dwarf leader. Without him, the others will soon flee back across the port. Where is my reward? Every bit the mercenary. I like that. No conscience, scruples, morality, or questions. Only money. You talk too much, methinks. <laughs> Forgive me. Here is 700 in gold, and I will tell my comrades of your exploits. Ah, it is the same old story. A man's reputation <laughs> is worth more than gold. Farewell. Farewell. I love how he makes that comment, too. Alright, so another 700 gold there, and a reputation increase. I was going to start shooting that guy until I realized it was an actual, like, a guy. I thought it was like a bandit running up, um, rupin, bleh, running up on me or something. So yeah, we're going to make for this next encampment there. You don't want nothing, do you, grizzly bear? Kind of want another holding trap, too. Ooh, bandits. Oh, scoundrels. Well, this can go one of two ways, so... Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, nice weather. All right, well, we'll let them run off, and I'll come back for those guys. As long as they don't disarm me, I should be okay. Methinks they're not going to do too much damage with their bow. That's for you. Multi-arrow and all. Okay. There we go. I would have had, like, been right up there with this guy had I not stumbled on something and now they're all gonna run. <sighs> this is why I don't like archers in this game. <laughs> and it's simple enough. All you have to do is literally wait, wait behind, like, a tree or something. Let's have a look. And they'll come to you. But I mean, for the playthrough, it's not that interesting. Methinks. I might get, yeah. Leveled up. Quick shot, just to take him out of his uh, aim. And that means I should be able to use those new pants now. So let's go ahead and distribute this first. 
I almost clicked a uh, point for willpower there. Don't really need willpower this this character. Even though I use it for my uh, my healing spell, I really don't need to upgrade it at all right now or ever really. So there's ways I can get my willpower up without uh, putting points into it. We'll go lock picking again. Like I said, lockpicking is like the first thing I want to get done. Was this the... I think that was the pants that I wanted to switch on. Let's have a look. Now to see what these guys have. Needs 25 strength for that armor, but it's not even better than my armor. So I'm not even going to sweat over that. That's shit, that's shit. It's crap too. Go ahead and throw down one of these teleport stones. There it is. Right here. And let's try this whole selling thing better this time. I think I'm going to get the hang of it. You know what they say, practice makes perfect and all that jazz. Going to keep the skull splitter like I said for now. There's no way I get a better bow than the one I have right now either, so... Keep that shield for now, just to see. Hold control. I think that was everything I wanted to sell. Look at that. It wasn't that long, guys. Gonna leave the teleport stone there for now because I have a feeling I'm gonna make at least one more trip. See, that's what I'm talking about. See this guy, how he's like half in the ground now? That's probably what ended up happening to my uh, my holding trap. Which extremely sucks, but. There's the other archer here and then the other two guys are up ahead. It's a pretty good bow, but it's not, not as good as my uh, bamboo bow. The only problem with holding on to things in my inventory right now, but we'll just have to live with it. Maybe in the future I'll end up cutting those parts out. But then again, like I don't, I just loot as I go. So it's kind of hard for me to do that, only for the simple fact is then you won't know, like, you won't see, like, offhand what I pick up and stuff, so, I don't know. Like I said, it really doesn't take much. A whole couple seconds I take to loot, really, so. This helmet, crap. Love how the guy had two helmets. I'm gonna offload this and then open that chest. Mm, never mind. I'm gonna open the chest then go and offload this. Let's have a look. Earth staff. Not bad, not bad. And then we'll continue on. See, I thought the bandits were going to run up and try to talk to me again like they have been before. I didn't think they were just going to run up at me and then start attacking me, so. Did I end up selling that shield? I did. This is why I don't hold things in my inventory. <laughs> Surprised I didn't sell it the first time, to be completely honest with you, but. Alright. I just clued in because I kind of looked around for a second and I didn't see a shield in my inventory anymore, and I'm like. Shit. It's all good, I got it back. I have enough gold to really buy anything back. How much gold do I have right now? 9,794. Of course. It's not an insanely large amount of gold, but it's a good chunk of gold. <laughs> 